As of earlier today, this is the situation in New South Wales, Australia, that has been suffering some unprecedented floods, which we did cover yesterday. These pictures are from various sources from Australia, and you can see that it's turned life peoples upside down, and along with some livestock as well. Some horses are there stuck on a bridge. And this news is not being so much covered. The reason being there's an ostrich, I think, is the reason being it's, well, what's happening in other parts of the world takes actual a further form. It is Friday the 4th of March 2022, the first Friday of this March, and I forgot to mention on March the 1st, it was David's Day, St David's Day, the National Day of Wales. And of course we do have the famous March 17th coming up in a couple of weeks time, just under a couple of weeks, which will be St Patrick's Day, and I do believe in some areas that is a day off. Going back to what's happening in Australia at the moment, you can see once again some more images of floods and you can see how high the floods are there, the cars are actually covered, it's close to the height of traffic lights, the rescue workers are in full force and it's another part of the world that we do have to pray for as well as Syria, which we'll, we'll be covering a little bit later on for today as well. And of course, the Free Gorges is in the whole headline as well. Let's get into it right now. And I said as well, as well, as well, three times. The situation in the Ukraine is on its ninth day, I do believe. And the United Nations yesterday, the 193 UN member states have have a voice. A total of 141 countries voted in favour of the resolution which rearms Ukrainian sovereignty, independence and territory integrity. We can read a little bit further with this one, which is here. The resolution demands China immediate, co complete and unconditional withdrawal of its military forces from the territory of the Ukraine within its international recognised borders. It was sponsored by more than 90 countries, which is needed by a two-thirds majority of the Assembly to pass. Five countries didn't vote for this one, Belarus, the, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, North Korea, another country, Russia and Syria voted against it, and 35 didn't say yes or no. But what I think they should do is this. And I think you would need some special guy to do this as well. Now, before I play the clip, I did show it yesterday, but I'm going to show it again today. Why? Well, it's my channel and I can. Here we go. A new free gorge dam in Jiangxi, Jiangxi province. First of all, where is Jiangxi province? Let me show you on the map. A proposed new dam in Jiangxi province has created controversy. 
The Jiangxi Provisional Government has plans to build a Poyang Lake Water Hub, consisting of a dam on the Gang River, which is the main water source for China's largest freshwater lake, Lake Poyang. The dam will be built in the county of Xinjiang, Jiangxing, not too sure how to pronounce that, and will cover 78% of the Gang River flow. The dam will be used for flood prevention, combating drought, electricity generation, shipping, reassembling the Free Gorges Dam in function. The dam will be the most expensive hydropower project in Jiangxi history. So that's quite interesting news. I'm not too sure when this article came out and it's what China does the best at talking the talk and then not doing much about it and doing feasibility studies, taking lots of money away from people and putting it in their back pocket and possibly in the next 100 years they may think about it. Uh, but they would actually have second thoughts about this dam because of the free gorges and the controversy and how badly it is built. We can continue to read here a little bit more. Experts have argued that the dam will put even more pressure on the Yangtze River, reducing water levels for cities further downstream, such as Wuhan and Nanjing, with some labelling ideas of selfish. In the last 50 years, 46,000 dams have been built along the Yangtze, that's 46,000. And now the Poyang and Dolting lakes have a connection with the Yangtze River, which is interrupted by dams. The plans are still going, the plans are still undergoing revision. In other words, yes, if we read this second article, it's just a little bit of propaganda to say for the people next year is going to be better even though the floods are just around the corner and now it's time for the musical weather Right, so let's have a look at the levels for today. Kutan, Kutan is at 168.86, that stayed the same. Free Gorges has gone down at 168.44. The inflow is back today and at 6,800 and the outflow is a little bit higher than that, the 9,000 and something or the other. My glasses have really gone. 600 perhaps something like that hmm. related to the free gorgeous dam that's all i got for it for today to be honest with you it's just a concern as we get now even closer to april last year april is when the flooding did start the camera did actually come back online i think in june of last year and it's just a waiting game here this is the dry season and it's really hot but a couple of days ago for about an hour or two it did rain cats and dogs late at night i should have videoed the whole event the floods in australia is this all to do with global warming where does most of the global warming come from yes you guessed it it's good old fashioned china but i'm going to give you this title here how China secretly helped Russia invade Ukraine. And in the link below is a guy called Seamilk, and his ID is Lao Y86. I can guess he was born in 1986. I think I was in my second year of university. And do go along and have a look at his video for today. Very interesting indeed. Now, some other headlines which have been catching my eye, which I picked up today, but never got any information. Headlines with no 
scripts up there it's just empty basically and this one is the free gorgeous down next january the 7th 2022 i don't know what this is referring to um, this is before the situation in the ukraine for example so it's not related to that is it because um, at that time there were some dams in brazil that overflowed and did break because of bad maintenance are they saying that don't know but if you do please do drop us a line another one i found is the world's largest dam forms melting sorry the world's largest dam forms melting greenland ice sheet again this is a title and i got this from the weather channel but there was no information below it so if anyone does know what's happening with that one again please drop us a line and i'll put it in the show well when the next show may be interesting that some people just put in headlines on the internet and you could say the weather channel is quite a reliable source but then nothing else after that very strange indeed but again do let me know what your f thoughts are and i would like to say hello to philippe lim and he said fake video from other source and really don't know what he's on about so philippe philippe lim if you are around could you please uh, drop us a line in the description and say what is the other source first of all it's really hot i just swiped sweat from my lip what is the other source first of all and you, you did do another comment which i haven't put in there i just want to know and this is the best way for or if anyone agrees or disagrees with him please let me know as well it's always good to get constructive advice constructive criticism but it needs a little bit more rather than fake video from f r m f r o m from other from another source just to correct the english there mr lim yesterday was a bit of diy and earlier this week uh, Sophie, my girlfriend, and I, Sophie is my girlfriend, not three different people entirely, uh, did buy a drill and did get some pictures done and bought a couple of clocks and we put them on the wall and in our new house and it looked like this. <laughs> We now have a picture of Tokyo on the wall. Ah, oh, he's so cute. Lovely. Look, we have a clock on the wall as well. Ooh. And here is another picture. Oh. Another I picture. Oh, hold on, someone going to do something now. <laughs> there's the other picture one more to go and the third picture goes in the office and of course it's the king Tokyo that is about it for me for today I am searching and digging deeper as always to f uncover the truth related to the free gorges, floods, China, the situation, sharing sources or videos that I did watch like from Laowai86, I think you'll find that interesting. I'll put in another link as well from a, a South African guy who lives in Pennsylvania who did um, live in China for over 14 years. He's called Winston. Uh, his handle is Serpent ZA and he's done a video as well related to the situation with y Ukraine and Russia. That's it from me. Not too sure when I'm back. It's sort of rather a busy week at the moment but hopefully it is tomorrow but if not uh, do check out some of my other videos that you can find on my playlist and i haven't done this for a while i'm still not too sure how many of these have been sold but if you do want any merch here it is 15 dollars the link 
to how to pay and how to get it delivered is in the description below. My own mug, yay, there we go. For that, bye-bye, 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 thank you.